Peace, family. This is Show Far from Full Show Energy Work and Full Show Health. And I'm here to speak to you today about seduction being healing. In this video, I'm going to be talking about a recent video that was just posted by Cheyenne Reynolds um, and Taekwondo, the brother Taekwondo. And when it comes to, you know, new voices in this, uh, you know, in breaking down seduction and things like that, I feel like he's definitely one of those ones that really gets it. And um, and I want to put out there first, also set this intention, though, for any men that are interested in learning seduction, I feel like you need to also honor that it is an art to empower yourself and to also be able to align with your purpose, what it is you're here to be on this planet and what it is you're here to do. If it's just about getting numbers or bagging honeys or something like that, I would tell you, maybe don't watch this video because that's not what time this is about. He has some principles that he talks about on his channel to help young, you know, help men uh, with seduction. And I want to show the overlap, you know, that divine natural awareness, right? That DNA. I want to show how seduction is another function of sensual emotional exchange. Um, and uh, so with that being said, one of the things that the brother says is, you know, whether he speaks or does, uh, if you notice, is that he speaks with power or uh, with uh, like powerful affirmations, right? Uh, many words that end in ion or ION um, are talking about a transfer of energy. What do I mean? Uh, affirmation, seduction, seduction, ion, affirmation, ion. If we look into the realm of science, uh, ion is a charged particle. So what I'm saying here is that these words are letting us know that when we speak of affirmation or when we practice seduction, the art of seduction, uh, and noticing how the word heart has art in it, seduction is an art. And when we practice that, when we put that, that in motion, another ion word, uh, then what happens is that we are now allowing ourselves uh, to come into the power. Seduction is really about your untapped power. On the video, you when you watch it, you'll see that he says uh, he they're reading like doing a Q and A, and someone says, "Yo, did, Ty, did you shoot your shot? Yeah, did you did you spit that game?" And he's like, "I am game. I am game." And what did in the Bible? What did God say that you know? Mo, tell Moshe to say you know when when Moshe, aka Moses, asked um, you know well when the Pharaoh and the, the the Pharaoh's court and all of them you know the royal family asked me. Uh, who sent me? Who should I say sent me? And they said, yo, hey, why? I am that I am. So Taekwondo's answer to the question, um, you know, did you spit game yet? Is I am game. This is a certain power and just being very direct and to the point about like, yo, I don't, I don't got to spit game because I am game. I am that, you know, but on a deeper, more esoteric level and being a, a God man on this planet, you know, being a Ra, you know, the, coming from the, the, the word, the ancient people of Kemet, uh, you know, the, 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 the ancient people of Kemet's name for the sun, Ra, being a, a Ra being that you are as a man, speaking to them to, to, for it to be heard right there with a, a beautiful womb being sitting right next to him and saying it very clearly that I am game. And it's being said in her womb space, her heart, her womb, her vagina, her, her pussy, all of that. It felt that it took that in, you know, and when you speak with confidence. So those of you who know me, you do my work. You know, if you're on my Patreon, you know that I have an acronym vibe, voice, introspection, breath and embodiment. In ancient Kemet, they also used to say that everything vibrates, right? Everything vibrates. And so, and of course now modern, modern science, they fucking over in, uh, over in Europe colliding particles together to find a God molecule, which our ancestors already knew that everything vibrates back in the day without all of that. What I'm saying is this, is when we say voice, introspection, breath, and embodiment, if you're talking seduction, speak with power, speak with passion, speak with purpose.
So the second thing is introspection, introspection to look inward, right? So another thing that the brother Taekwondo says is to go deep, not wide, go deep, not wide. So of course that has the sexual innuendos to it, which is powerful. I love anytime you can weave in those different things, leave a little playfulness, a little sexual or sensual uh, tension in your words. That's another powerful thing going back to voice, powerful thing to do, but going deep, not wide. Um, or some ladies will tell you like they love when, when you can do both. Uh, but in the context of seduction, what he's saying here is to find what the womb being's uh, purpose, her passion, uh, what it is that uh, that makes her feel empowered and go deeper into that, go deeper into it. Now, two challenges come up with that. What a lot of you are going to find out there in dating, no matter how fine they are, how big the ass is or whatever, a lot of dudes you find is that when you when you start going deep she's shallow you know what i'm saying don't save her she don't want to be saved she's shallow you know what i'm saying um and that you know much love to many of those womb beings because there's no rites of passage there's nothing to help uh, us cultivate ourselves many times many of us don't have mentors you know or uh, uh in this case a sisterhood uh or older womb beings a mother and and, and matriarchs to help a lot of womb beings actually to develop and, and mature. Notice how the word mature has mother in it, ma. Uh, there, there's there many womb beings lack that. And the same can be said for men as well. Uh, so, but with that being said, uh, so that's gonna be one challenge that you're gonna find uh, is that, that as you do the, try to help her to do that introspection, there's nothing there to introspect yet. The second thing is many men cannot even help in that process, which is, our giving thing as as men, this is one of our superpowers is to die to to be a laser beam rather than be a wide focus or whatever to take that wide energy that the sun does now and, and now make it into a laser beam. But many of us have not done the introspection so in, in ourselves. So how can we help the feminine to introspect? Aho. So as men, one of the things that we want to work on is fine tuning so that. In order to go deep with the womb being, you've got to have first done it with yourself. The next tenet that the brother says is uh, to calm down, to basically stay calm. You know what I'm saying? Many men, we get to a place where we get around a beautiful womb being and we lose our shit. So a lot of times when the, the, the so-called Tyrones and, and Pookies come around and all this type of stuff, right, the, the, the men that womb beings are feeling, they, they lose their shit too. So that's a very common thing. But bringing it back to breath, so voice, introspection, and breath, staying calm, staying with your breath. And with that, let's do a deep breath in together. Let's do three deep breaths together. Breathing in and out. Breathing in and out. Last one, breathe in. And out. And when you're ready, slowly open your eyes. You notice what the word breath, it has the word beat in it, as in heartbeat, because the heart and the breath, the breath and the heart are intimately connected. They're intimately linked. And so if we want to calm ourselves down, you know, and steady your heart a little bit, you know, learn to come back to the breath. And the last thing, uh, embodiment, embodiment. And one of the things I'll say on this one is just as a man feeling your balls, if you want to talk about seduction, um, then being in a place where you feel yourself, feel be embodied is one thing to say, I feel confident is another thing to actually have the confidence in your balls, to actually have the confidence in your dick. To actually have the confidence in your prostate. Um, that is a physical feeling. Uh, so for many of us as uh, men, it's a, it's a mental concept. It's not something that is actually an embodied experience. It's one thing to, to think about the ocean. It's another thing to actually 
be in the ocean and have the experience of it, right? And uh, asking the feminine to not be sensual and to not be emotional is like asking water to not be wet. And so if the woman being is not wet, if she's not sensual around you, then many times it's because of how we're showing up too. You know, and that's something for many of us as men to reflect on. You can watch some of the other videos by Cheyenne Reynolds. And when she, she has a show called Grilling, where basically, I mean, how combative is even just that name? Grilling. And yet when she's sitting down with the brother Taekwondo, I don't hear no sizzle. I don't hear no grilling. I just, I hear sizzling, but it's because of the heat that the two are generating with each other. She's all laughs. She's making eye contact. She's touching, feeling, you know, all of that is going on uh, with her and everything being embodied. Why is that? Because the brother is, feel, is literally feeling himself. All right, Joe, and I, that's it. I just wanted to break down seduction a little bit more for you. I uh, let you know that it is a superpower that you have. And I hope that you go forth and do great things with it. If you like this video, again, I'm Shofar from Full Show Energy Work and Full Show Health. Uh, I do energy work with couples and singles, uh, me and my lady, and uh, she works with the ladies. I work with the men. And then if you're non-binary, we also can help. And I have a book, So Sacred Orgasmic Living. Uh, and we also do a series of workshops, Sex to S-E-X, Central Emotional Exchange. In that webinar, we show people how to basically get out of the norms, right? How to get out of uh, lower genital-based, uh, you know, just sex, which a lot of it is porn-informed or romantic, uh, novel-informed. Nothing wrong with that, but we are expansive light beings, right? So central emotional exchange is the, the remembrance and the evolution of human beings. And uh, so that workshop talks about that process. So if you're interested in that, um, I also had a link for that down below. I believe it's like September 9th or 10th uh, coming up. And if you see this video through time and space after that date, just check the link still below because we always are doing that one sometime, like at least once a quarter. Uh, and I appreciate y'all again for coming through, y'all. Keep seduction in your life, y'all, um, and use it uh, and have fun with it. You know, don't be playful with it. Uh, but also realize that it's serious. So have serious fun, y'all. Keep that SEX in your life. Keep shining. Keep evolving. And do so exponentially. Oneness.